the American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Heartburn is a common condition noted for burning or pain in the esophagus. New treatments are being developed like the TIF procedure to help people suffering this condition. We spoke with Dr. Mark Kersandi at Glendale Outpatient Surgery Center and asked him to give us more on heartburn. Basically, the way our body is built, we have the esophagus that's connected to the stomach. Right at the junction when the esophagus is hooked up to the stomach, there's an area of high pressure zone that works like a valve. When we're not swallowing, when we're not eating, that area is closed. But when we swallow or we eat, the area relaxes and allows the food, the saliva, everything to pass from the esophagus into the stomach. When it stays relaxed, it causes the acid and the gastric enzymes and juice and everything else to come into the esophagus. And that's what is called acid reflux. The like majority of people come and tell you that I have heartburn, but that's only a minor group of people with acid reflux. A lot of patients with acid reflux get other symptoms that we call atypical uh, reflux, symptoms of reflux, namely chest pain. We get a lot of patients from cardiologists who come to see us because they have chest pain and they do a full workup and it's not a heart attack. We get a group of patients from pulmonary doctors that have asthma or hoarseness of their voice or they get post-nasal drip and they do all the workup and it turns out to be acid reflux. Dr. Kursandi talks about treating heartburn or acid reflux. Majority of the patients that come and see us are already on are some sort of antacid. But what we see is the group of patients that antacids won't help. But one of the main things that we are focusing on right now is try to correct that anatomical defect that I mentioned to you, that create, recreate that high pressure zone that prevents the acid from coming from the stomach to the esophagus. The procedure is called TIFS, which, which stands for transoral incisionless fundoplication. And the way this procedure is done um, is very different than the old ways the procedure was done. In the old days, the surgeons had to do through laparoscopic or even many years before they had to open the chest. But the way this is done is through the mouth, it's called transoral. We introduce a device into the stomach and we are able that from, uh, from inside of the stomach create that high pressure zone by making no incision. And then by creating that high pressure zone, we're able to prevent the acid from coming stomach to the esophagus. Dr. Kersandi discusses the success of this procedure. About 79 to 80% of the patients that do this procedure become symptom free and do not require uh, medication. Uh, there might be a minor group of people that are on very high dose of medication that may need to continue medication but at much lower dose of the medication that they were on. Uh, one of the uh, uh, reasons this procedure is um, uh, becoming more and more popular is, as I said, there's no incision made. It's done as an outpatient. Patients do not need to stay in hospital for a long period of time. And the recovery period is very quick. Uh, and that's why it's very, very safe. People that get chronic reflux, at least two or three times a week, or people that it wakes them up from the sleep at night. Those are the people that, especially if they're of white race, for some reason white men in their 40s are more susceptible than any other group of people. They uh, get some changes in their esophagus that can make them prone to esophageal cancer. There is a type of esophageal cancer that is on rise in America and is related to acid reflux. Acid reflux is not just a reflux. It, there's a lot of other side effects involved with acid reflux that we want to control. And that's what I like to relate to my patients, that just because you, take a, you have reflux and you take a medication, it doesn't mean you don't have any underlying disease.